I'm Raul Wood. I'm a research scientist at the Department of Geography at uh, the Ludwig Maximilians University of Munich, Germany. One way of making climate resilience is climate adaptation. So the last couple of, of events that come to my mind are the 2018 drought in Europe as well as the drought conditions this year. And such events already highlight the huge need to adapt to maybe a new normal, what we can expect in future. And this is basically the concept of climate adaptation. We have a continuously changing environment that we constantly need to adapt. However, it needs to be stressed out that climate adaptation is not the solution at the end. Because if we end up with the worst case scenarios that the scientists tell us about climate change, some regions will not be able, or they don't have the adaptive capacity to, to oppose the severe consequences of climate change. So climate adaptation is only one part of it. And the biggest part that we all need to tackle is climate mitigation. So when we talk about climate adaptation, then the solutions to climate adaptation will always be a very local and very regional task. And that's where the Arsino project comes in with the nine different case studies that all for different topics and different uh, needs of climate adaptation showcase how climate adaptation or climate resilience can be achieved on small or local scales. Maybe through uh, differences in urban planning or concepts of uh, new governance uh, strategies, be it uh, technical innovations, and so forth. So, our Zenoa brings together scientists on the one side, but then also practitioners on the other side, bring them together with local stakeholders who know what are the needs, and together try to trigger innovation. So, innovation is also a big part of the Zeno project that should help local communities uh, adapt to climate change. So, maybe if we think about climate adaptation or mitigation, we really have to come to the point that we, it is in some parts maybe already too late to avert the, the worst consequences of climate change. So all of us, we need to act now. So we cannot leave an energy crisis as we have at the moment, uh, get us, get in the way of the big topics. We cannot let the topic of climate change be dropped. Thank you.